In this video, we will follow the steps necessary to migrate a virtual machine from VMware to AWS EC2 with FSx for NetApp ONTAP iSCSI storage. For our migration, on the left of this diagram, we're targeting a VMware cluster that's utilizing a shared storage platform with LUN-based block storage hosting the VMware data stores. We can see that the volumes are clearly separated into operating systems and application data. To the right, we'll be running the virtual machines on AWS EC2 instances, and we'll target EBS for the operating system data, and FSx for NetApp ONTAP for the application and data volumes. In the middle, we'll be using Cirrus data replication to facilitate the data synchronization. From the VMware vSphere console, we've identified two virtual machines, a Windows machine and an Ubuntu Linux machine that are candidates for migration. Clicking on the Windows VM, it has two separate volumes, one for data and the other for hosting the operating system. From the Windows Guest VM, we can clearly see that Disk 0 is hosting the operating system, and Disk 1 is where the application data is stored. From a terminal, we can see that the Linux Guest VM has a similar configuration. Next, we'll navigate to the project in the Cirrus Data Cloud Console dashboard. From the menu bar, we'll select Integrations, and then next, navigate to find FSx in the list of the available options. Once the integration is enabled, this will allow Cirrus to assist in the creation and configuration of LUNs on our FSx ONTAP instance. Back on the Cirrus Data Cloud console, we'll need to register our hosts and install the Cirrus Migrate Cloud software. For the Linux guests, this can be done by copying and pasting a curl command from the terminal shell. Once that registration is complete, we'll repeat the same process for our Windows guest using the supplied PowerShell script. When this finishes, you'll be able to see your VMs registered in the Cloud console. Once this is complete, we'll be ready to move on to the next step in the process. To begin the migration, navigate to the Migrate Ops section of the Cloud Console. From the menu, select Start New Operation to open the Configuration Editor. This template is in YAML format, and you'll need to specify the operation name, the host name and integration name, the source and destination configurations, and any custom scripts you would want to run before or after the migration is complete. Once the template is finished, click the Create Operations button to begin the synchronization process. The same steps can be completed for the second virtual machine. And once you've created the operation, you can click the name of it to see its progress. A detailed view of the migration steps can be seen and errors and other messages will also appear here as the job progresses. From the AWS console, navigate to the EC2 page. Here you can see that there are two new EC2 instances. They've been provisioned and are online. Also by opening an SSH session to the FSx ONTAP instance, you can see that two new volumes have been created to host the iSCSI LUNs for our data drives. Back on the Cirrus Cloud console, the migration operations are underway. Once the synchronization of these operations are complete, a manual interaction is required to initiate the cutover phase. You must acknowledge the process by typing your answer into a dialog box before the job will proceed. On the operations page, reviewing the progress status will show that the jobs have succeeded for both virtual machines. Both systems are now fully functional, running in AWS with a combination of EBS and FSx ONTAP storage, hosting the respective operating system and application volumes. From the Ubuntu instance, we can see that our storage layout matches what we previously had configured in VMware, with OS and data volumes mounted to separate paths. Additionally, Cirrus has configured multipathing for the attached LUN. From the Windows guest, we can see the disk layout similarly matches. From the Cirrus console, we can see that all operations have completed successfully. Thanks for watching.